Brian Shepard with the closing print and the close out Friday. Let's go uh, hit the weekend, right? You know, today's high. Today was pretty dull day. It was an inside day, meaning inside yesterday's trading range. It's never very eventful for the day of. It can lead to some bigger trades uh, down the, down the road, and we're hoping for that. And we will have some events next week that may drive that. Um, you know, today we opened up uh, 16. Sixteen seventy nine half area in the Dace contract. We rallied up to the high of the day, sixteen eighty one eighty, just before the number of Michigan sentiment came out, which was a major disappointment. Chatter is that you know it, uh, disappointment led the down the downward sentiment was from uh, you know the bump in interest rates. Um, you know, following that number uh, within the next uh, forty five minutes to hour or so. We traded the low of the day, no no uh, surprise there. But it was only about a six and a half handle range today. The low was came in at 1675.30. Um, you know, the cash close just went out at uh, 1687.80. Uh, you know, and again, I, I, last I saw, New York Stock Exchange was dismal. 490 million trade so far in the uh, New York at the close. Um, you know, leading up to you know this point again, it was very very quiet. Midday was stuck in about a two and a half handle range. You know that six handle range on the day. Nothing really to report. Next we, uh, next Monday we have Empire State. That's a bigger number, and obviously uh, it's probably going to be slow again. Uh, unless there's some event-driven news on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the FOMC, we'll get a hint at the tapering. Um, you know what's going to happen there. And then, again, there's been a lot being talked about too about the replacement for uh, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke. I'm sure we've all seen this. Um, it seems to me that uh, the stuff from Summers, the backing, just isn't quite there. Uh, you know, as far as uh, what President Obama would want to see. Um, President Obama himself passed on Summers to the World Bank position going back a year ago or so. So again, let's see what happens with that, but that's stuff that's really going to take a predominant, uh, you know, driven course of where the market's going to be uh, headed over the next, uh, you know, near term and further down the line. Uh, you know, some people are guesstimating anywhere from a 2 to 5 percent, uh, you know, change in the market dynamics. If summer, Summers gets in versus Yellen, uh, you know, from these lofty heights that we're at, within a what a percentage or two of uh, you know, that 1705 double top area from early August. Again, that's it. I'd like. I wish there was more to talk about, but we hope you have a great weekend, and we'll be back Monday for another closing print.